Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, rise and shine. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful day. So glad you're joining me this morning for the Walking in the Spirit gathering. <clears throat> Excuse me, we believe in prayer. We believe that God changes things. We believe that when we gather together, there is power in unity and in love. God bless you, Geraldine. Good to have you with us this morning. Nell Tarvania, bendición mi hermana. Jasmine Hoyle, Joe Wilson, blessings, my brother. Uh, Jeremy Robarts, good morning, Jeremy. So good to have you with us this morning. Deanna Caberson uh, Santani, God bless you as well. Bradley Jenkins, good to see you, my dear. Amen, amen, Joel and Dino, God bless you. Good morning, good morning. Yes, welcome, Holy Spirit. That's right, absolutely. Irene Welch, drop that in the chat right now. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Come on, Diane Smith. God bless you, my dear. So good to have you with us. Sharon Johnson, Peggy Stevens, Charlotte Metcalf. Man, you guys are amazing. Everybody's rising and shining this beautiful morning. Saida Preston, good to have you. Tammy Massey, always a blessing. Amen. Sharon Williams, Frank Britt, man, it was so good seeing you Sunday. You look good, my brother. Just believe in God for total healing. Jerry Akers, Jennifer, God bless you, Jennifer. Yes, right, drop it in the chat. Nanine, welcome, Holy Spirit. Nanine is on the scene. Yes, I'm glad you woke up early, brother. <laughs> Phyllis. Uh, uh, Phyllis, God bless you as well. Yes, Jennifer, Emmanuel, Frank Britt, thank you, Jesus. Yes, amen. Praise God. That's right. Diane Smith, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to go one more minute, then we're going to get started this morning. Kay and Dre, May, what do you say? <laughs> God bless you. Good to see you. Ivy McNeil, yes, God bless you, Ivy. Uh, Peggy Stevens, Jess Thompson. God bless you, Jess. Glad you're with us this morning as well. The whole family. Sylvia Palmer, come on, somebody. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, Miss Renee Rice, uh, Havana Skinner, Amen. Yvonne Harrison, uh, Little Milani. Hi, Milani. So glad you're with us, Milani. Hope you're having a great morning. <laughs> Michael Cook, my temple maintenance brother, is on the line right on time. Come on, brother. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. We're going to go get started. <laughs> We're going to get started this morning. Derek Underwood just came on with us as well. Yvonne Harrison. Yes, yes, yes. The team has made it. The team. I'll tell you what. This is the power team. That's right, Bo Holloway, good to have you as well. Praise God, really good to have you as well. Um, uh, praise God, and, and uh, uh, I'll be talking about what's happening the rest of this week here in a moment. Tonight is church. Y'all got to come out tonight, man. We're talking about March Madness. March Madness, man. We're going to talk about basketball, <laughs> how basketball and life, man, have so much in common, especially when it comes to the kingdom of God. Amen. So Robert Berlinger, I'm sorry, Berlingeri. <laughs> I hope I don't mess up people's names. Uh, Robert Ber Berlingeri Jr. Okay, I got you, brother. Glad you made it. Adi Kruzma, glad you made it as well. Amen. So let's go ahead and get started this morning. So, so I've entitled our, our Bible study part portion, right? I've been, I've been um, know where God wants you. Know where God wants you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you and praise you for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Know where God wants you. Look what 1 Kings uh, 17 verses 2 through 4 says. Then the Lord said to Elijah, Go to the east and hide by the Kareth Brook, near where it enters the Jordan River. Drink from the brook and eat what the ravens bring you, for I have commanded them to bring you food. Mm, wow. That's, that, what a powerful uh, uh, passage of provision, how God made provision for Elijah at this phase of his life. Listen, um, drop this in the chat right now. Never stay where God has not assigned you. 
never stay where God has not designed you. You know, God designed us specifically uh, for the purpose he's called us. He, he's, uh, uh, you know, we are ethnically designed. That means that your nationality, your race, your sex, and even where you were born was decided by God. So you you were geographically assigned. That means the place, the city, uh, everything that 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 makes you who you are, even your upbringing, the location where God wants you. See, so yeah, I believe the location where God wants you is a place where you are right now as well, right? Uh, but of course, we need also to be in a spiritual place that God wants us as well. See, wherever God wants you is where you're going to flourish and succeed. That's right. Uh, uh, Pastor Rosa spoke about Jonah, right, this week. And it's so important for us to understand that Jonah ran the other way. See, he ran the other way when it came to being where God wanted him to be. On the other hand, Elijah was sent to the brook. And when he was sent to that brook, that's where he was assigned to the widow of Zarephath. So when you read, when he leaves that brook area, when that season is over, God begins to lay out a plan for his next move. So you see, your provision is waiting for you at the place where God assigned you. Oh, come on, somebody. See, your provision is is waiting where God assigned you. So we have to make sure that we know, you know, ask God. We need to pray and ask the Lord to make sure that we are where we need to be, right? See, I believe that each instruction from God is linked to your assignment. Whenever God wants you to do something, whenever you read the Bible and, and, God, and, and it speaks to your heart and it gives you direct instructions for whatever area of your life you need direction in, then know that that's already linked to your assignment because God is always moving you forward, right? Always moving you in the direction of your assignment with him. So important for us to understand that because when we do that, we need to also ask God to help us see ourselves the way he sees us. Matter of fact, drop that in the chat. See yourself like God sees you. Mm, come on. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 in God's word, it says this. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. When you read this scripture, you realize that God had plan things for us. He's already laid out a, a framework for our lives. So you drop this in the chat. You will never outperform the way you see yourself. Mm, listen to me. You will never outperform the way you see yourself. So often we limit ourselves by how we see ourselves. That's why it's so important for, for us to see ourselves through the lens of God's word. See, I, I believe that Moses sent 12 spies, you know, or scouts to review the land before entering in. See, it's, it's amazing because when they came back, the reports were contradictory. Ten had bad reports. Two had good reports. Ten were giant conscience. Two were God conscience. See, it's so easy for us to, to, to maybe even lose our focus and concentration by looking at what's in front of us and the obstacles and not knowing that God is bigger than all those things. And of course, when you read that and continue to read that scripture, you find out that 10 could not see beyond the giants. And of course, they embraced a grasshopper mentality and never entered the promised land. See, think about that. The way they saw themselves. They never said the giants saw them as grasshoppers. When they saw the giants, they saw themselves as grasshoppers. So they disqualified themselves from walking in faith and stepping into the promised land, the land that God had already given them. See, drop this in the chat right now. Your self-portrait determines your self-conduct. Mm, come on, somebody. Your self-portrait determines your self-conduct. So we need to understand that how we see ourselves is so important. So begin to elevate. Begin to elevate yourself and say, you know, I am good. Yeah, I am good because God has created me. I'm good with me. I mean, I'm, I'm strong in the Lord, right? People love me. Wherever I go, I get God's favor. 
Uh, begin to say that, you know, begin to speak to yourself. Let that self-talk build you up. You are a child of, a living, of the living God. You are anointed of the Lord to do what God has called you to do. As a matter of fact, God has prepared everything in advance to have everything he needs inside of you already. So you are a child of the living God. Wherever you go, whatever you're saved, there's anointing and there is power to make an impact in the atmosphere wherever you enter, amen. Begin to speak to yourself. And you know, today you can do something right. As a matter of fact, start with today. Today, speak to yourself when you walk into, into work. Speak to yourself wherever you go and say, you know what? I am a child of God. I have the mind of Christ. I have the wisdom of Solomon. Come on, somebody. Begin to act, begin to speak to yourself so that those words of faith, amen, will rise up within you. And today you can start doing something right. Listen, drop that in the chat. Do something right today. See, Galatians 6, 9 says, And let us not grow weary while we're doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Come on, drop this in the chat right now. Knowing what's right means nothing unless you do what's right. Mm. Knowing what's right means nothing unless you do what's right. See, it's, it's, it, it is easy to impress God. Just do the right thing. <laughs> Follow his instructions. See, there's nothing more, more uh, uh, pleasing to God than when we obey his instructions. See, those instructions may come through his word, uh, they may come through the inner voice of the Holy Spirit speaking to you, or maybe through men of God that you have in your life, people of God uh, that you've surrounded yourself with, right? God will speak to you. You just have to listen carefully. And those instructions and how you follow those instructions will determine your future. See, uh, to, to, to hear from God and to, to do the right thing, to do the right thing is to attend church faithfully. It's to tithe consistently is to pray daily is to read the bible habitually is to witness to someone about jesus on a regular basis those are all the right things to do amen and when you do those things you'll see god begin to do so much in your life you'll begin to see how the lord can heal relationships how the Lord is going to put you in the right places. You'll get promoted. Listen, I'm speaking that by faith. For some of y'all that need a financial breakthrough, God's going to promote you when you're doing the right things. Now, remember, though, that Bible, the, the word is very clear because it says that, that, that sometimes doing the right thing is not easy. <laughs> it takes energy because the flesh always wants to pull us towards sin. But when we do the right thing, God blesses us. And it may cost us something, but when we pay the price to do the right thing, you'll see the blessing on your life, on your family, on those all around you. You see those little things that I mentioned earlier about church and tithing and praying and reading the Bible and witnessing. See, those little golden hinges swing huge doors to miracles. That's right. That's really the formula for a miracle is to say, stay close to God. Amen. Let him lead you. Praise God. Let him be first in your life and you'll see how miracles will start happening every single day. You'll see miracles, whether they're big or small. God is a God that is constantly, the way I look at it, when God speaks to me, that alone is a miracle that God would even think about talking to me and having a relationship with me as well. Listen, get started now. Put in the effort. Listen, you will succeed, I promise. By staying close to God, God will get close to you and you'll see things begin to shift in your life. Listen, and it could be difficult and it is hard at times, right? But listen, drop this in the chat. Work hard in silence. Let success make the noise. Oh, <laughs> come on now. That's a drop mic moment right there. Work hard in silence. Let success make the noise. Amen. Well, praise God. Well, listen, if you were blessed by this morning's Bible study and you were encouraged, which I pray that you were, make sure you smash the share button, man. Let's get the word out. People need to hear God's word and you and I are the catalyst that God can use just by hitting the share button. And if you came out a little bit late this morning, 
Don't worry, this thing's gonna get posted as soon as I get done, and you can watch it afterwards or a little bit later as well. Amen. Praise God. Well, listen, let's go ahead and get uh, get into our time of prayer right now. Uh, Heavenly Father, we just thank you and we praise you and we give you glory and honor this morning. You are a good God and a mighty God. And we just bless you, and we're so so honored to be in your presence this morning. So Father, in Jesus' name, we praise you. We thank you. We pray your will be done in our lives. Oh God, we surrender ourselves completely to you. We decrease that you may increase in us right now, Lord God, there be more of you than there is of us. So Father, in Jesus' name, I praise you and I thank you right now for providing, for providing for every need in our lives this morning. I thank you, Father God, for your forgiveness. Heavenly Father, forgive us of our sin. Cleanse us of our unrighteousness this morning, oh God. And we just confess our sin to you right now in Jesus' name. And Father God, teach us and help us to forgive others as well. To forgive them, Lord God, to forgive and forget. To love people, Lord God, and keep our hearts pure in your presence. In Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray for your protection around all of us today as we travel and camp your angels around us. Give us safe travel, safe traveling mercies. Wherever we go and protect our families, our loved ones, our friends, our colleagues, Lord God, just be with them and protect them this day in Jesus' name. And Lord, we just praise you that you're a God that answers prayer this morning. We receive it done in Jesus' name. Father, thank you, Lord God, and help us to discern that we are where you want us to be. That as we move through this journey, Lord God, our spiritual journey with you, that every move that we make will line up, will be aligned with your will and your purpose. So, Father God, help us and strengthen us and lead us to the places you want us to be in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now I pray that you will help us see ourselves the way you see us, Father. Lord, you, we know our shortcomings. We know the places that we that we that we fall short, that we don't make it. You know, we know you know the sin that happens daily in our lives. Father, help us and strengthen us, Lord God, so that we could see ourselves past, Lord God, our faults and see the need that we have for you. That we can walk in your confidence, knowing that everything we need is already in us. So we just thank you and we praise you for that now in Jesus. Holy name, Father, help us to continue to do the right thing. When we have, even today, when we have a choice, Father God, that you will, will always lean into the right thing to do, Lord God. It may not always be the easy thing to do. We may have to restrain our flesh. We may have to restrain even, even what looks like a positive move. But if it, Father God, but if we have to lie to get there, if we have to cheat to get there, then help us make the right choice not to fall in the devil's temptation or the devil's trap. So thank you, because we know when we do the right things, you buy, your word says there will be a reward. There'll be a reward if we don't faint, if we just hang in there. And we just thank you, Father God, for the victory. We, we want to reap the harvest in our lives by always doing the right things. So Father, in Jesus' name, we pray for those on our prayer list right now that need salvation, God, touch them right now in Jesus' name. Draw them to the cross this morning, oh God. Begin to minister to them. Begin to tear down, Lord God, the barriers between you and them, Lord Father, in Jesus' name. And Father God, we pray for divine healing right now. Oh God, touch people's bodies right now. Holy Spirit, let there be divine healing right now. You said when two or more touch and agree. So we agree right now that your healing power is being loosed upon those in our, on our prayer list uh, for Sister Dorothy as well. She's recovering, Lord God, and just strengthen her in this process that she's in right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we thank you, Father God, for the for the blessing that she is. You have so much more for her, Lord God. So just give her patience. Lord God, just give her peace right now. Give her strength, Lord God, to endure what she's going through. We thank you, Father God, for the victory and the healing in her life. Father, we pray for those that need chains to be broken, those that need to be delivered, Father, in the name of Jesus. 
Lord God, whatever addiction or habits they may have, or whatever whatever they're going, whatever mindset, Lord God, they have that needs to be broken in the name of Jesus. Lord God, touch them right now, Lord. We just praise you for the victory, God. And Father God, we thank you for restoring marriages, restoring families, restoring loved ones, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for making making things new in their lives, that the love between marriages be rekindled and, uh, and will be uh, uh, completely renewed and refreshed right now in Jesus' name. And Father God, we thank you for miracles. We thank you that you are a God of miracles, and today we declare your miracle-working power over the areas in our lives that need a miracle. You said, oh God, that nothing is impossible to those that believe. So we stand upon your word, and we stand upon your promise this day in Jesus' name. And Father God, I thank you even now for divine doors to open Father, we pray and we thank you that even now opportunities are coming our way, that the wealth transfer is happening into our lives right now in Jesus' name. Like God, that, that, that finances and, 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 and every area of our lives will begin to multiply right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, the divine wisdom and divine understanding and divine insight, Lord God. Even now, Lord God, that our eyes will be open to see all that you have for us and around us, Lord, in Jesus' name. We pray for supernatural favor with everyone we come in contact with today. Father God, help us to keep a cheerful heart. Help us, Father God, to, to keep the joy of the Lord inside of our hearts. But we know the joy of the Lord is our strength. We thank you that it's full of glory. We thank you, Father God, that that joy... Father God, enables us to do the things we thought we couldn't because we know your joy, Lord God, is what gives us the strength every single day to accomplish what you've called us to do. So we thank you even now for a supernatural favor. We thank you that our dreams are coming through, that step by step you are guiding us to the dreams for those things, Lord God, where you said your eye has not seen nor ear has heard nor has entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for those who love him. Lord God, let those dreams, Lord God, manifest. And Father, thank you that we're reaching our goals every day, that every daily goal that we have in our lives is being accomplished every single day. And Father God, we thank you for the victory this morning. We thank you that you hear every prayer. We thank you, Father God, even now, Lord God, as, as many are bringing up their own personal prayer requests before you, we I touch, we touch and agree. And thank you, Lord God, that it is done. Hallelujah. That it's being completed. And we just praise you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Give the Lord a praise this morning. Know that God is with you. He is for you. He is not against you. Amen. And you know, I close every gathering with a scripture. And today's scripture is found in John chapter 14, verse 27. John 14, verse 27. Where God's word says this. Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Oh, come on, somebody. We have nothing to fear. We have nothing to be afraid of today. God is with us. Let his peace fill your heart today and just ask him, Father, thank you for your peace throughout this day that no matter what storms come our way, no matter what opposition we must face today, will remain in peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, praise God. Let me pray over you right now. And remember, uh, tonight is a service, 7 p.m., March Madness. We're going to talk about this this crazy uh, uh, season where college basketball is everywhere. We're going to talk about what's, what, what basketball and serving God today victoriously have in common. Amen. Praise God. So, so just make sure you invite someone. If you can't be in Richmond for the service, man, watch us on Facebook Live on this channel right now. Invite some friends. We're going to have fun, right? We're going to have fun, and we're going to, uh, uh, and I'm just believing God's anointing and his, for his word will be upon it, and that none of us will walk away 
the same. Amen. Praise God. So, Heavenly Father, I thank you for my brothers and sisters. I pray you will bless them and keep them. Shine your face upon them. Be gracious to them. Lift up your countenance towards them and give them peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, listen, God bless you. Remember, this is your day. And yes, if you have a sports jersey, wear it today. Wear your sports jersey coming to the church. If you have a, a I mean, if you don't have a jersey, uh, uh, then wear a, a warm ups. Come on, wear your Nike workout suit with you know. Come on, your nice gym shoes. Come on, put on your shoe game and just come on out and join us. It's gonna be a wonderful evening today. We're just gonna enjoy the presence of the Lord. Amen. Well, praise God. Well, listen. Have yourself a wonderful, marvelous day. Just go out and just walk in joy, walk in peace. Man, right now, if you need to jump in the shower, jump in the shower, attack the day before it attacks us, and know that the Lord is with you. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. All day long, he'll be with you today. Amen. Praise God. And remember, when you're walking in the Spirit, you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. God bless you and your families. And, and Lord willing, I'll see you again right here again tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. for Walking in the Spirit. Hit the share button. Let's get the word out. Let's let God minister to people on your Facebook page. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing. Amen. <laughs>